The Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Interesting. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. If you trade your Pokemon wrong, the Guardian Deity will strike you down with lightning. Mm. Apparently, Tapu Koto loves the battle. Ah, oh, yes, forgot. Hmm. Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Raul have been waiting for ages. Hold on, did anyone explain to you about tonight? Nope. Oh, yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? A full power festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. So you two will be taking part in the battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they often end up getting hurt, but it seems like this is an important event so I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you so show them the same care in return, but allow me to heal them for you this time. Oh, thank you for that. Sort of needed it. Right. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yes, I am. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge of joy in their hearts, we pray for your, your protection, for them and all Meli Meli. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands how <laughs> how grandson to the Kahuna. Before him stands Bao, one who is met with Tapu Koko. Well, the curious old thing Tapu Koko is, huh? That's just typical of it. Litton, take care of my little Bao. As long as we both have a good time, then I think we can all then then I think we can call it a great battle. Yeah. Bow, ho, bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Rival battle number two already. Hey, what's up, T Lynch? I'm glad you came this early. Hmm, Pichu. Once again, really not digging this rival battle music. So Peach, you can take a hit. I explained a lot. Tail whip. Static. Also, I must ask, where the heck did this dude get a Peach? You? But whatever. And eh, for Rowlet, let's see if Picky Peck can handle it. Val of the Flying Types. There's that leafage again. Super effective. Zerala can take a hit. God dang. I know. It took two embers. Like, god dang. Plus, it's using growl, but still. Critical hit would be welcome right now. Eh, still want to take one more. Eh, 
And Rallis down. Level 6 for Picky Peck. What? It's already over. Yep, I chose Litten. The best of the three. Another great battle this year. I bet Tabu Coco liked it too. Whew, that was awesome, Bao. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even top. Okay. I guess that's his song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this, Bao. I'm assuming this is our stone. And he made it into a bracelet. Okay. The hell is a Z ring? Your Z ring, a mysterious armband that can draw the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z power. We Kahunas can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stone that you receive from Tabu Coco. Although, until you collect more Z crystals during your island challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokemon. And yet, you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tabu Coco took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out there and start our island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what their mission is. Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer, the island challenge champion. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I was talking about the island challenge later. Well, I the best. I just started. Hey, Teeny. What's up, Teeny? Tapu Coco is amazing, isn't it? I hey, hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Honey bunny. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it, and left you with that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time to get you kids home, yeah? And I suppose this is goodbye. Oh, Bao, you're back already? I thought you want to stay in Iki Town longer. Especially right after that great battle. Ooh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting such perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. It's something you can do only in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at that festival. Night, night. You get some sleep, too. The next day. I wonder what today will bring me. A visitor. If it's Kuke, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door again. her. The professor said, Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab. If you'll come with me, it's this way. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. So a little extra money never hurt. Well done, Bao. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great play for us, place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Looks like it's fine time. Uh, looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Litten. And don't be gone too long. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Was it this way? Okay, not this way. Hey, it's a Tauros. And a Pokemon Center, which means I can get my Pokeballs. Enough already, Tauros. Calm down. You're going to hurt somebody. 
Oh, I guess we can't go this way. Interesting. That's not the way to the lab, so it must be down here. Quite a few intersecting paths, I must say. You can only reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Understandable. Since we're not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repels keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? And about Nebby. Oh, oh his name is Cosmog. Okay. So, Cosmos Smog. So I'm going to assume it's Fairy and Poison in that case. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Was it a land far, far away? It seems to have a very strange power. I used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's how only the Professor and Kakuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge, please? And that's a ledge. Seems very deep, but whatever. And for this next one, let's switch in X23 to the front. Let's go, kneecaps. Youngster Kevin. Grubbin? Oh, so that's that thing I saw in that icon earlier. So it was a grub beetle. Interesting. Oh, let's see what Grubbin can do. Also, this thing is level 6. It was obviously a bug. Yeah, it's string shot. I'm assuming this is the regional Caterpie as well. And it can take a hit. Vice grip. Ow! This thing hits like a truck. I'm going to have to switch X23 out. Actually, depends how much this does. Yeah, you gotta be switched out. So let's go to Litten. Or well tall, I should say. Also, I must say I'm not a big fan of the uh, trainer battle theme too much either. So far, battle themes are quite disappointing, but the town themes and situational themes are really good. But who knows, might change my pain before the playthrough is over. Ember. It's kind of adorable. Level 9. Yeah, so far Litten looks like a physical attacker. Level 5. That was mixed. Okay. Also, might as well say, since we have it in a while. So, let's see if we can find new Pokemon here. I would assume so. Wingle. Okay. Now, uh, I was expecting to find. Peck. Glad I avoided that. That's a headache. Literally. Avoid two Supersonics. And time for the Pokeballs. Seven left. I wish I could get my extra ones already, but tutorials and all that. And we caught a Wingull that I will never use. What's wrong with the Wingull? 84 experience. Echoed voice. No nickname for you. Hmm. 
Hmm. For now, I'll keep a good voice. Not that I have much choice. Ha, <laughs> I rhymed. Awakening. What? You said it powers out each time you use it. Another wingle. Yet again, I can't run from things. What the heck? It's two levels lower than me. Okay, I gotta switch, because what the heck? Yeah, really a critical? I'll just put well tall in the front. Not the bag. Apparently so, Raheem. And did not mean to initiate that trainer battle, but whatever. I'm enjoying it so far. And of course, she has a freaking wingo. Because why not? Yep, not having the best luck with critical hits so far. She tries that did more than half, but no complaints. Also, I must say, Wargon looks quite powerful in this game. <laughs> I like Lick's animation. I love it. Is there anything in here besides Wingo? If there is, feel free to come out now. Stop using curse. Oh my god. I'm looking for five more encounters. I swear, if all five of these are Wingo, this one doesn't count, by the way. One wingo. One of you could at least be shiny. Hmm. Would you train it then? No. Two wingos. Well, Bow found. Find something that's not a wingle in these grass is. Find on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Hello. What the hell? I didn't even see one of those. That special ratataz here. Still don't know what the heck your deal is. Unfortunately, I can't view it ri uh, right now because I already have six members in my party. But still gonna catch this bad boy. Stop picking up Supersonic. Like, what? It's like 55% accuracy last time I checked. What is this? Hmm. And we got our weird ass rat attack. He's 
not weird. He's just old. Not sure I'll even use this thing. Here's how red a cape looks now, though. Well, it's a dark type. What? Dark and normal. Wait a minute. What? Nah, I doubt it, but I'm curious now. It's what? a dark and normal rat I'm digging this. Hmm. I'll name you Twitch. I'm so confused. Why is he dark and normal? Oh, okay. You can swap out members of your party now to add them to it. Awesome. Oh, look, Reddit. I want one now. I want to see what Reddit Kate looks like. Or at least this Reddit Kate. I have a dark Reddit. That's awesome. Three more encounters. And there's another Reddit. That hurt. A dark ratata. Interesting. I see health's getting low, so this will be the last encounter here. Don't feel like running all the way back, so I'll just keep pressing forward. If we get a game over, then oh well. But glad I stuck through all these wingle. Because something came of it. Knowledge. That'll do. Okay, so it's just this house here. Really, a pile of rubble blocking the path. How cliche can we get? <clears throat> Slow poke! Yeah, that's the other thing I ever saw. Ah, uh, you glorious derp of derpness. Death. We'll not be using one, but it's nice to see Slowpoke, I suppose. If you got paralyzed, that would be nice. Wait, what? Oh, it's Curse. That's a interesting new animation. I'm dig I'm so lonely animations in this game, yo. And you got paralyzed. So, time for you to get in the ball. <laughs> That's us a slow poke. Actually, Soul Bro is one of the Pokemon I hate fighting the most. Too bulky. I love my Slow Poke. He's even worse than fighting the Megamon. Send to box. Especially when you put it in a party, it's better than Caterpie. It's actually quite interesting how this is technically the same route, but I just found different Pokemon in different patches. But you normally don't see in the beginning of the game, actually. You normally only see the first couple people in the route. But anyways, let's talk to... what's her face? Lily. Uh, the heck? Oh yeah, Ruck Roth, let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. Really? They just had to throw that in there for Reggie, didn't they? His body is ready, ladies and gentlemen. 
the Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. Okay, so she came here after her little incident. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I was a real trainer, too. Well. And honestly, this place is not the lab I was expecting, but whatever. He never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. I just had to wash his lab coat and finally got it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes, so I just have to buy another one. You should probably go in before he does any more damage. The heck is that? Can't tell if that was a stuffed animal or not. Hey, there's a love disc in the course in the aquarium. Hey there, Bal. This will get me getting him for me, Lily. Of course, however I can be of help, I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockwell's moves were just so stylish, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Bal, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? So, what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. So, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex. What? What? Yeah. There's a Pokemon inside my Pokedex called Rotom. Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with the body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, buddy, and to put that crazy skill of Rotom to work. It's the next generation of Pokédexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone to this body specially developed for it. <coughs> so, a new Rotom form. Interesting. Personally, I think it's ugly, but whatever. And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now, if I power up your Pokédex with the parts that I just got in... Well, Rotom disappeared. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Rotom, here boy, I powered up my favorite decks. Get Bell here a helping hand, yeah? It'd be cool if I could put Rotom in my party anytime I wanted. Still wouldn't use one, but... Nice to meet you. It talks. See, Bell, now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will help you how exactly? Bell here hasn't been a Lola too long yet. So I decided to give him the special Rotom decks to help him navigate around. You can see where you're head just by looking at Rotom. If you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. I did not see that coming. Alola. The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa ho ho. Okay, that is a real Pokemon. What the hell is that? That's what I say. Is that a loft? That's awesome. No, it's not. It's private. The prof professor has some kind has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them, right, Bao? How? Huh, <laughs> our name's Ryan, I didn't even think of that. Bao and how. And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up here in the loft. I don't like how this Rotom is blinking at me on my bottom screen. <laughs> so Bao, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Bao, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kinda cute. Alright, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the Island Challenge champion. It's a great adventure for both you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands to make up Alola and a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by Kahunas as worthy, it said you must clear seven trials. So, seven gems? Bah, I want you and Lynn to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon strengths, yeah? Oh yeah, as someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everyone on Island Challenge must get one of these Island Challenge amulets. I 
It's a lot more exposition than a usual Pokemon game. I got one for my Gramps, too. All right, then, Bal. You too, Hal. Get a move on. To the trainer school. I don't want to go to trainer school. I've been playing Pokemon for close to 20 years. Mm. you got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Do Pokemon battling is a long road to become the Island Challenge champion. And trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. Me too. I mean, I train with them, right? The Island Challenge. So this is how the people of Aloha connect with the world around them. <laughs> Lily, you take care of Bao, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Hmm. That's a very interesting new Pokemon there. I must say. Hey, she has a Murkrow. I might be tempted to use a Murkrow if I find one. I found a shiny one in one of my um, emulators. 